Hello, friends. In the past, I've talked about the practice of loving kindness meditation. Today, I want to talk about a different version of that kind of meditation, and this is compassion meditation. Our theme this month is compassion, which means, of course, to be willing to suffer with another. So uh, it, it's a concept about moving closer to suffering, about opening ourselves to the suffering in the world, which of course is also about opening ourselves to the suffering within us. Sometimes we build the biggest barriers to our own suffering and we might respond to our suffering by denial, by distraction, by any number of ways we have of pushing our unwanted feelings of pain, of sorrow, of anxiety, worry, fear, despair, any of these forms of suffering, we push those feelings away. And as we do that, we lose our compassion for ourselves, which in many teachings is the beginning of our compassion for one another. And so this practice, like the loving kindness meditation, teaches us to begin by touching in on some compassion that we feel naturally for another person. We begin by thinking of someone we know for whom it's easy to feel compassion. Usually this is a very dear loved one. It might be a child, it might be an older person in our lives, someone who needs us, with whom we have a very close relationship, for whom we will always show up when they are suffering. So we think of that person and we notice the quality of compassion that we feel for them whenever they've been suffering. And then having done that, we step back for a moment Go into a few moments of silent meditation just to still the busy mind, busy heart that we often carry through the day. Just take a few moments of silence. And when you come out of that silence, then you begin by saying a mantra, a saying that expresses your compassion first for yourself and then it moves through stages toward one you love, toward a friend, toward someone who is a neutral person in your life, toward someone who is trouble, someone who creates barriers to compassion for you, and then outward to all of those people together and ending with a saying of compassion for all beings everywhere. So we start by by determining what it is that we will say. In loving kindness meditation, sometimes we begin by saying, may I be happy, may I be well, may I be at peace. For compassion meditation, we want to begin with specific words that are about relieving suffering. So I've been thinking a lot about fear lately, so I'm going to work with something that is specific to fear. And I'm going to begin with the words, may I be safe, may I be free of fear. And I might say that multiple times, breathing in, breathing out, maybe two or three times between each time I say it, until I can really feel it in my being. Both as a way in that first one of of wishing it for myself and then receiving that aspiration. May I be safe. May I be free of fear. And then I move on to that dear loved one for whom it's so easy for me to feel compassion. And I'm thinking of a loved one who has recently undergone surgery. And so I hold them in my mind and I say, 
May you be safe. May you be free of fear. And I might say that a few times, separated by several breaths in between. Then I think of a friend, someone who is not one of my closest circle, but someone who I know and care about, for whom it's relatively easy to wish well and to want them to be free of suffering. And so I think of that person. And I maybe I even think of a struggle they're having or a fear they're having. And I name that person and I say, may you be safe. May you be free of fear. And I take a few breaths and I might say it again. And then I move on to a neutral person. Perhaps it's that person who sits on their porch often when I walk past with my dog every morning. Perhaps it's a person that I see down the street. Perhaps it's a person that I see online without really knowing them well. And I hold that person in my heart and I say, may you be safe. May you be free of fear. Now the next one, the fifth one, is the hardest one. And this is something, this is thinking of someone for whom it's a challenge for me to feel compassion. It might be someone I know personally or someone in the news, someone that, with whom I have a difficult relationship of one sort or another. And I hold that person in my heart, my mind, and I breathe in until I can find that compassionate spot. And I say, may you be safe. May you be free of fear. And I take in a few breaths. And I say it again. And I really test myself. Do I understand what it means to wish this person safety and to be free of fear? Understanding what that might mean to the difficult relationship I have with them. After that, I move on to everyone that I've just named, myself and my loved one and my friend and a neutral person and this difficult person, and I say, may we be safe. May we be free of fear. And then finally, the last step is to think of all beings everywhere. And to say, may we all, all beings everywhere, be safe. May we be free of fear. And I end with a few more breaths. And then I pause. And I think, what might it mean to me? If all beings, if all these people I just named were actually free of fear and safe, how might our shared world and my own experience be different? And sometimes I say that last one one more time after I ponder that. This compassion meditation is meant to touch in on the tender spot that we feel for those we love when we wish them well and want them to be free of suffering. And then we share that tender spot with ourselves, with those we know and love, with those we barely know and with those with whom we have a difficult time. And as we do that, we begin to feel the boundaries of our heart move outward. This is what compassion does. When the boundaries of the heart move out, 
we are better able to move closer to the suffering of others. And that moving closer will be the best way we know of to relieve the suffering of others and the suffering of ourselves. I'm thinking of a favorite phrase of Douglas Steers, a Quaker teacher, who once said, God is forever moving our boundaries outward. When we open our hearts not only to love, but to the power of compassion that enables us to move closer to suffering with a willingness to participate in relieving it. That will expand ourselves, our lives, our hearts, our awareness outward in a beautiful trajectory of growth and also of relationship. That is the gift of compassion. And the gift that I wish you today in sharing this practice of compassion meditation. Take good care, friends. Be steady, be well, be open to sharing the tender spot of your own heart with an ever-growing circle of others and yourself.